How's it going, Shaq? Uh, it's going all right. I don't think I slept yesterday. Like at night? Into Why not? Today? I don't know. It seemed like I, I went to sleep. You know what I mean? Like I closed my eyes. I was tired. And I, I think I even turned off my lights. And 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 I, I, I closed my eyes. And then uh, uh, hours later, I opened them up again. And, you know, it was later. But. I, I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm not feeling like I went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, no rest. Yeah. It wasn't restful. Um, yeah, but you know, I'm sure, well, I'll fix that by going to sleep in the middle of the day. Okay. I that's think. vital. Yeah. <laughs> Which is not, <laughs> sadly, that's not always an option, but, um, you know, when you're in the office, you cannot go to sleep in the middle of your work day <laughs> <laughs> not when you're like at the front desk yeah it's, it's, it's impressive at that point yeah you're supposed to like be alert <laughs> everyone else <laughs> has you know offices where they can close the door and, and go to sleep but you literally you have to be the one <laughs> i'm the lookout i'm the lookout for the office and we have yeah. all seen enough movies to see what happens when the lookout, you know, it, goes to take a pee or, you know, gets a little bit of shut eye, blinks too long. That's, right. that's when capers happen. Yep. That's that's how you sneak over. You, you, you swim through the moat and you sneak over the wall all because oh, yeah. I, I, I blinked too long. I was literally watching uh, this exact scene happen yesterday. I watched the... Uh... I was watching the Wonder Years, the remake. Oh, okay. How is that? It's not bad. If you're if you're like in the mood to uh um nostalgically cry every 30 minutes, um, it is perfect. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like every every episode makes you rethink every family relationship you have Ooh, and cry Lord. deeply, beautifully, but it does. Mm -hmm. Um okay. but uh yeah, the uh the main character um voiced uh as an adult by uh donald uh by don cheadle well, right don cheadle yeah uh yeah. not donald duck glover that'd have been weird uh <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a weird ass adult basically <laughs> but uh the kid version of him uh is at a day camp for his church mm. and he sneaks past the minister uh, to hang out with the other kids, hoping to make out for the first time mm. at the day camp, and he ends up uh getting his first kiss from the minister's daughter. Ooh. This only happens because he falls asleep. You know, hey, the what? minister, the minister's dad fell asleep in the hallway. Oh, okay, all right. So we watched the kid tiptoe past him. Okay. You know? So to your point, you know, like he fell asleep. Yep. He was watched. Mm -hmm. you know, but let you know down. what <laughs> it's okay because lord the lord was watching the <laughs> lord was watching and that's the true judge mm -hmm. um wow but is is that normal for you to not like uh to feel like that like not oh yeah, yeah. sleep yeah <laughs> not 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 all the time it's not something i'm shooting for um but uh i do have times there have been times where i'm like oh that wasn't restful at all Sometimes mm. uh, it was it would be like, say, I had a terrible mattress, you know, and so okay. I woke up in more pain than when I went to sleep <laughs> like because okay. I couldn't get comfortable. Um, and so I, I, I woke up fighting it, fighting, trying to be comfortable all night in my sleep. And sometimes oh. while asleep, I'm not in a deep enough sleep. I can feel myself just turning constantly like a rotisserie chicken. And I'm like, yeah. I'm not, I'm not asleep, but I, I'm not fully awake. But I also know I feel myself moving around. I, there's no way I'm getting any rest if I'm able to have this thought right now. Then I'm not, <laughs> I'm not asleep. Um, but yeah, I, I yeah, there are times when I, 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 I can't uh, sleep. Sometimes it's stress. Um, yeah. So I try, but I just never really fall into. If I don't really have any dreams, then I know I'm not. Uh, a deep enough asleep because I do dream 
uh, almost every night. I don't remember all of them, but I do have dreams. So if I don't have a dream at the end when I wake up, I'm just like, nah, I was up. <laughs> I should have oh. just sat up. But uh, yeah, so I mean, it's, um, uh, you know, uh, I'll just have to try and pinpoint maybe what stressed me out yesterday. Yeah. Um, or, you know, over the past couple of days, because uh, I was very tired in a way where I had a couple of shows that I wasn't worried about, but I was a little, you know, like concerned about them going okay. all right. Uh, and so uh, yesterday was the second of the two shows and it was fine and it was over. So I was exhausted and like that. OK, I've been because, um, you know, you use up a lot of energy when you worry. So I was exhausted yeah. in that. OK, I can let that worry go. I'm so tired. Let me go to sleep. And I did. But apparently it was not a deep enough sleep because I woke up and like an hour or so later, I'm like, "Ooh, I am tired again. And I thought I would have slept well because I wasn't worried anymore. So this may be some other thing rattling around in my brain. I'll catch it, yeah. you know, or I or I'll get some acupuncture and they'll stick some needles <laughs> in me somewhere. No, for real. First, I mean, they do a thing with the needles and I they're like <laughs> when they ask, like, how are you sleeping? And I'm like, mm, I'm not. They, you know, do a little treatment with the needles. And uh, my acupuncturist will ask me, do you have any plans tonight? Because I don't what? want you to be out and then you're taught you're super tired and you're not in a place where you can just go to bed right then. OK, so I you know, I, I have to be mindful of that when I'm making appointments like, OK, I'm free today. I don't have any shows tonight. Let's go on and get that acupuncture <laughs> so that I can <laughs> go to sleep. Yo, I, I love all of this, like. So one, like, uh, bad sleep, bad mattress stuff always triggers me because I sold mattresses. Mm. So, like, I always feel mm -hmm. terrible for people because um, it is, like, a third of your life and mm -hmm. every single mattress company f until maybe five years ago um, mm -hmm. completely hid every single aspect of what it takes to find the right mattress. Um, so that you could be confused and tricked at a furniture store. Um, and it led to people buying expensive mattresses that they don't need or the wrong mattress, you know, and it, it shouldn't cost that much money for people to find a mattress is decent to get good sleep, but it is a personal right. thing. Like, you know, like everybody's body has different needs. There's also cultural mm -hmm. components to it. Um, there's people that, uh, have been culturally raised to sleep on firmer mattresses, for example, uh, like if you grew up uh, in uh, a lot of Chinese homes, they literally sleep on like almost wood planks. So like when they go furniture right. store buying a mattress that they grew up thinking and associating as firm isn't firm enough. Um, so there's just right. so many like layers to it. Uh, and then your own body needs, like a mattress that you find comfortable is different than someone else if you weigh 100 pounds different. You know, so like literally mm. every couple has a problem right off the bat where the mattress <laughs> that your partner needs and you needs can't be the same. You know, like it, it's right. bonkers. Uh, so, yeah, there's so much about that that like irks me because like I sold them and I realized like how confusing this was for people. And like it's a decision that they try to like almost like rush and hide. Like it's a they do like a magic trick when you buy it at the store. And, like, they don't really mm. give you the information you need to make a highly important decision. Like, yo, it, in my opinion, real talk, buying the right mattress might be, uh, per dollar, the most important decision you make in your life. Like, real shit. Because yeah, if you think yeah, about everything I, I, else, you're talking about buying, that. like, a house, right? Like, if you're, you're going to spend, like, 500 to $3,000, and it affects a third of your life for 10 years. No other decision mm. on a per dollar basis messes or improves your life that much. And we don't have all the data. We don't know what we're doing going. Nobody studies that shit in school. <laughs> like they don't they don't mention it in class once. <laughs> you know, they say get good sleep. I I I I took four years of college. No semester was devoted to mattress picking. Not once. And it would have been great. 
they, there's no, it's not even covered in home ec. Like, never. Like, it should be, like, discussed. Like, how to end the springs and all of this shit. You know, like, it's just, because it's going to come up, wow. like, six times for you. You know what I mean? It's just such a, like, vital decision. Um, I know nobody expected me to get on a mattress soapbox, but, like. No, uh, I <laughs> I love, I love the passion. I'm really enjoying <laughs> how passionate you are about Yo, this. It, um, it, that. Uh, I I mean I've heard many I've heard those stats before and I I don't think I realized the kind of mattress I liked until there was a guy I was dating and I stayed over at his place once and and I realized every time that I was at his place the minute I'd sit on his bed I'd just go to sleep instantly like immediately yeah. I was just knocked out so then I'm like uh I'm gonna need one of these <laughs> I need one of these, Yo. whatever this is. <laughs> I need it. And, um, you know, and I didn't have money for whatever it was. His parents got it for him. And, uh, you know, I remember his mom telling me that they got it for a steal at some outrageous number. And I was like, no, I'd have to actually steal it. So that's <laughs> not going to work for me. But at least I know how it's supposed to feel. So yeah, then I you have the hope. Then now. I started like, yeah, I had to like go, but it's also that's why when uh, it turned to like buying mattresses online, I was just like, how does that work? Because how do you know what it feels like? How do they know what, like what their pillow top is not my pillow top, right? Their plush right. is not my plush. How do we know? How 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 can yeah. we be sure? And r- reviews online are very tough, um, especially because um, <laughs> people write reviews about the weirdest things, and it's not you don't all have the same set of standards, right? So someone could give something out of five stars, can give it two stars, and what they're upset about, everything was fine. Grandkids fell asleep on it immediately. Everyone loved it. But the stitching was out on one corner and you're just like, how can you how can you give me product like this where a little bit of a stitch was out? So I got I had to give you two stars. And I'm like, that's not <laughs> that's not right. You don't cover that mattress. We're not. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's not how that's that's not how the star system works, I don't think. So it's hard to like you have to read a bunch of reviews to try and figure out what's going on and uh so i mean this mattress that i have now i've had for maybe uh a year and a half two years maybe no like a year and a half maybe maybe a year and a half something like that and i i'm very happy with it but it, it took some getting used to um yeah so i i fixed that part of it so uh as much as i can so that's how i know like all right, then there must be a stress element also yeah. um, that would keep me from, um, because it, the stress is what was keeping me anxious before. And then when I get past about that stress, shows? Uh, there was nothing different about the shows. They were just, um, uh, you know, it was after a Thanksgiving week. And so uh, I didn't really go up during the week of Thanksgiving. Um, I also was a, a little concerned about my material, i.e., I. do I have any? Um, and okay. so, <laughs> you know, like, do I have, uh, and, and they're just, they were shows where I were, they were in bigger rooms. Like, um, one was Butter Boy, which is at Littlefield. Uh, it was like Love their that. fifth Love anniversary show. show. And Hell that's yeah. a great show. And, uh, but you know, uh, uh, that show, especially with it being an anniversary one has the c- capacity of being, uh, packed and yeah, I, yeah. it's been a minute since I, since I've done it, but it's also like, uh, what, what am I going to say? Um, so luckily, um, I've been, uh, coming up with a few new things to say. So I was excited about saying that in front of people, but it also is like, are you really going to treat this fifth anniversary Pat show as your open mic? And I'm like, I'm going to have to, uh, <laughs> that's what's going to happen. Um, so there's just that of, you know, wanting to do well on that show. 
And then the second yeah. show was Whiplash, which is, uh, you know, a monthly show that I host. But this was a, a show in a bigger venue than our normal monthly show. Um, and I still have to host a monthly show later on this week. Um, but, you know, that also capacity for more people being there. And um, yeah. and I'm hosting. And so New York I want to like non New Yorkers. Right. Yes. To well-known kind of big shows. And um, yeah. And hosting is a completely different thing than just, uh, you know, telling your jokes and then getting to leave if they didn't do well. I mean, if they didn't do well, I have to go. <laughs> All right. Well, here's the next person and I'll see you in 15, 18 minutes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's like, oh, boy. But, um. <laughs> you know, you're the whole thing, you're setting the mood and the stage and all that stuff. And so that is uh, uh, just a little more concentration and making sure I'm doing it correctly. And so that there was that. But after I did that show and it went fine, um, I was like, great. Whew, I don't have to worry about that, you know. And also just like the getting there in time because I was coming from work. So there was no like downtime in between leaving work and doing the show it was just me on a train trying to prepare like that kind of you know what I mean like it's just <laughs> tense the whole day so I I got home and was like great now I don't have to worry uh, my body's already tired let's get in the bed and then I woke up this morning and I'm like huh why am I tired <laughs> <laughs> like I just slept I didn't do the job I shouldn't be tired. Yeah. So, um, but there may, who knows? There may be something else. Who knows? I, I was wondering, uh, I'm also curious about this because I've, I've had terrible sleep for two days too. Um, hmm. I, uh, two days ago I was supposed to go, uh, to jury duty and oh. I do not remember waking up at all. Like I missed it. My bad. I, I, I'll, I'll do it again. Uh, I, I actually was looking forward to it. But, uh, you know what I mean? I thought it was going to be fun. You know what I mean? Let's see what's happening out here. What What are the latest criminals oh, no. up to, you know? But uh, I missed it completely. I woke up at easily 1230. I was supposed to be in downtown, like in the city, in downtown Brooklyn at like 830. Um, Gabby right. claims that she uh checked in on me at like seven o'clock because she was up with the kids and she was like hey uh don't you got jury duty today and i said i ain't going to that shit and went back to bed and she was like you had like an attitude and i was like i don't remember doing any of this at all um and then that whole day i was in like a weird funk and i don't know why like nothing had been different nothing had gone wrong but i was just like in a bad space and then uh i went to sleep uh, for like 20 minutes or so, woke up and everything felt better. Um, and uh, I wanted to get deeper sleep because that's like I was just like a power nap. Um, so I was looking forward to going to bed last night, uh, watch some TV with Gabby. Gabby said, I'm going to turn in early. So I said, cool, I'll turn in in like an hour. And I ended up falling asleep for like seven hours on the sofa. Uh, so today, like I got physically bad sleep yesterday i had emotionally bad sleep <laughs> uh i promise you the first half of this uh show was not an ad for mattresses um uh Shalee, when i genuinely have complaints we're older people with back problems <laughs> this, is, this is true that's all we just really it, it's important you really understand uh <laughs> I, when you get older that sleep is like i mean it's what you're looking forward to straight up yo yo uh, i I go on, I, I, you know how many comedians hit me up for mattress advice, B? Like, I, I am passionate about it. Everybody needs to get sleep. It's, it, it's invaluable. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, uh, I even get memory foam on my sofas just in case I have a rough, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, turn uh, uh, watching some HBO. You know, you binge watching, you got to make sure you're comfortable. Get a that, good nap. That is true. That is true. I, never that's know. not a bad idea. That's a that's an insider tip from Gastor to you. That was Real free. Talk. That's a, <laughs> I'm that, that's a freebie for you. Handed them out. Handed them. I got two text messages this week, and the, uh, two DMs this week saying uh, uh, something to the effect of, "Hey, we appreciate the good advice. 
that uh, we get from 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 the podcast. And then like they didn't tell me the good advice, and like I'm like I don't know what the hell me and Shalee would talk about that like I know. was helpful like for real. Um, I could see what Shalee was said that was helpful for me, but like how did you apply it? I don't know. Um, but I'm happy to hear. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if there is something that you hear in what we're saying that is helpful to you in a positive way, great. It's all according to plan. Oh, yeah. Um, but please don't ask us to repeat whatever it is that we said, because, I mean, I don't know about you, but I black out. <laughs> and then when I come to, <laughs> I'm Listen glad to- it's being recorded because I truly don't know what I'm talking yeah. about. I don't know what I put out there, um, but... uh. The scary thing is that all I I feel like we spoke about minks for like half hours. So I don't know what they got yes. out of that. Yeah, we did. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we definitely assuming... <laughs> did. <laughs> I feel like other people learned that minks die uh, to make mink coats, and they you know now <laughs> uh... <laughs> we've made some uh, more animal activists fans yeah. of the show, and I'm I'm happy to hear that. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Um, we learned that together. Um, yes. and, the and I, I and I, I also think that there were quite a few listeners who were like, who didn't know that they kill minks to make mink cook? <laughs> Sorry, we just weren't thinking it all the way through. My bad. Sincerely, you know? I, I really you, you nailed it when you said the the sheep and wool thing. I really that's what I had in my head. <laughs> right. For right. real. I yeah. thought it was shaved off. Um, I think of like bald women when they get hair donated. Same idea. Right. Like you don't kill the lady. You just get someone's hair, <laughs> so it made sense. I made I had enough examples of other living things donating hair or fur, uh, mm-hmm. so I don't think I'm that wild. If anything, it's the opposite. Like, why are we still killing animals? I feel like there should be a way of making a mink coat without killing a mink. Look, you know? I I I want to. I'm just going to throw this out here. I don't think anyone would buy it but me, but you don't kill the lady on a T-shirt, for sure. (laughs) Just a picture of Gastor just shrugging (laughs) with you don't kill the lady. No, man. Merch. Merch. (laughs) It's merch. Oh, man. (laughs) Let's get into the news. All righty. Kicking it off. The word of the year for 2022. That's right. Uh, Mm -hmm. In this age of misinformation of fake news, conspiracy theories, Twitter trolls, and deep fakes, gaslighting has emerged as a word of our time. Wow. Uh, Driver of uh, uh, disorientation and mistrust. Gaslighting is an act or practice of grossly misleading someone, especially for one's own advantage. 2022 saw a 1,740% increase and lookups for gaslighting with the high interest throughout the year. Um, so, yeah, gaslighting uh, was first used in the mid-20th century. It referred to a kind of deception like uh, in uh, a movie, apparently. Uh, yeah, uh, there, was on, a, uh, there was a movie called um, Gaslight where uh, there's a guy, he's married uh, to this woman, and he's trying to make her believe that she's um, going crazy. Huh. So... Um, uh, and it had something to do with like lighting in the house because it's an old, old ass movie. And so, um, either something about is she is he leaving the gas on or 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 something with the lights? You know, they're being gas lights, and she's seeing a thing, and he's going, "No, that's not. What do you mean? That's not happening. Are you no. okay?" And she's like, "No, but I, I'm seeing it." And he's like, "No, you're not." But he's trying to get over on her by trying to get her to like not. She doesn't believe to make it so that she doesn't believe what she sees, or you know what I mean. Like yeah. she's seeing what's happening, but he's trying to make her real think that she's nuts for seeing it. Like no one else sees it. Or are you all right? And now they're you know. So anywho, that uh that is the movie from like the 30s or something called Gaslight, and um and so it's been used lightly since then. In that way of just like, oh, someone trying to get you to not believe what is truly happening and to make you crazy, but for their benefit or something like that. Um, but it really did over the past. I mean, Twitter, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice that it made it this year, but it's been, I mean, it this word has really, you know, I don't know who does its PR, but for the past, I, I'd say like five years, it's really been on, yeah. on, the, on the come up. Real talk. 
So uh, other other major other major uh, words that uh, come up this year was uh, uh, oligarch, uh, which spiked six hundred twenty one percent in early March of twenty twenty two with uh, Russia invading uh, Ukraine and uh, uh, countries like the U S and United Kingdom um, having uh, planned uh, sanctions against Russian oligarchs or their family. Um, we also had Omicron. Makes sense. Sure. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, codify uh, increased by 193% in the year of 2022, driven by uh, Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe versus Wade, sadly. Um, and uh, LGBTQIA uh, was another term. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm mad that that's like still getting... I feel like you should be... I guess maybe because you're trying to figure out the newer... Uh, letters being added, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but like we should know that term by now. Well, I think it's. I I feel like if it's not in a commercial, we're not necessarily good at terms where it's you're spelling a thing out or it's just letters instead of saying like a word. Do you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Yo. Like, like if you're not, if it's not in a commercial or a song. Right. As I was thinking of like LGBTQ need a jingle. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, so I think we've got the LGBTQ part and that's still easy. And I mean, you could still screw those letters up. Right. But, um, but then there's a IA and really there's an IA plus, but no one's saying the plus. Cause I mean, like plus makes it sound like it's a, it's a streaming network. So the LGBTQIA, you just have to say it in a rhythm. Everyone needs to pick their own rhythm to remember the letters and blah, 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 because it doesn't spell a thing as if it was in uh, a commercial. Like back in the day, do they even still make Rolades like antacid? <laughs> I hope but, so, yeah. But uh, like the, their whole thing was how do you spell relief? And it's R O L A I D S, uh. but you're spelling Rolades, but Rolade spells relief, right? But now tell me, ask me how to spell relief. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. And so, uh... <laughs> yeah. So I think that's that's the thing is, uh, I I stop at the Q because I'm still trying to work in the I A, and it's not that I have anything against anyone who is I or A. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure I get all the letters right. You know what I mean? Because no one fair. came up with a jingle. I honestly, uh, I'm. It's. I I don't know if this is offensive or not, but I uh, I know LGBTQIA because of the Rugrats. Um, because I hear the theme song every time. Uh, I say what? What? LGBTQIA. No. I, it, it just plays in my head every time I hear the letters, and it just made it stick right away. Okay, so and you found a way. I found a way. <laughs> and so I started laughing when you said like they needed like a commercial with jingle because I've always had it in my head. As yeah. soon as like I heard the and it was it in it it, it it had to be this set of letters. Like as soon as I heard this set, it landed. Mm-hmm. Like and, that's great. But yeah, if that's that helps fantastic. anybody out there, yeah. you know what I mean? I hope that helps people out there. I'm not familiar with the theme, so it won't help me, but I'll figure something out. But that is lovely for, those, yeah. for those who it helps. That's fantastic. Because first I picture uh, Mace and his sister rapping because they did like a Harlem <laughs> World remix to the song or something. Right. With the Little Rugrats. And then like right. I, I remember trying to learn the song on the keyboard. Mm-hmm. So I always know those notes. So yeah. Boom. If that helps somebody out there, glad I could help, baby. You know what I mean? We out there helping. And uh, sentiment and uh, loami were other words. Uh, I think that's just loamy. Loamy. I think. Okay, yeah. Now you got me beat. Uh, loamy. <laughs> loamy. <laughs> and sentient. Is it it's sentient or sentient? Who knows? Huh. I well, don't know. It's one or the other, I guess. Look at that. They didn't make our top 10. Okay. No, uh, for sure. I'm not saying either of those words. Oh, I say I actually say sentient a lot, but yeah. uh loamy I don't say. I uh loamy, what does loamy mean? Uh consisting of loam. Well, that doesn't help. Um <laughs> <laughs> a soil of a mixture of varying proportions of clay, silt, and sand. See, I thought I keep thinking of foam, so I think loamy means it's uh like lather. 
I think uh. loamy is lather and foam, and I think loam, and it's not. It's dirt. It's dirt. <laughs> That's it's just dirt. like the opposite. Like, the yeah, complete dude. opposite of what it is. So I want some loamy body wash. You know right. I mean? Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, well. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, in other news, uh, Hawaii's uh, Mauna Lu is uh, erupting for the first time since 1984. The world's largest active volcano, the uh, Mauna uh, Lao or Loa? Probably Lao. Loa. La- Loa. Lao. Lao? No? Who knows? Lo- ba- Mauna Loa. Loa. Yeah. Okay. Ma- Mauna Loa uh, on Hawaii is erupting for the first time uh, since uh, in nearly 40 years. Uh, though lava is flowing down on one side of the volcano, the eruption in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is not threatening uh, any communities. Uh, all indications are that the eruptions will remain in the northeast uh, rift zone. Uh, volcanic gas and possibly fine ash and Pell's hair uh, strands of uh, lava glass uh, may be carried downwind. Uh, Trace to less than one quarter inch of asphalt could accumulate on parts of the island, uh, according to the National Weather Service in Honolulu. Uh, passengers oh. with flights to uh, the area are uh, should check with their airline prior to heading to the airport. Uh, here's a fun fact. Southwest is not operating. <laughs> Southwest Airlines flies to Hawaii? What? I, I mean, I, I guess that's Southwest. I mean, yeah, I guess that yeah. is to the south and to the west. But, huh. All right. That's the whole brand. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, that's as Southwest as you can be. I just, I've just been on Southwest and I uh, am shocked when it made it from New York to Atlanta. So <laughs> I, I just feel like. Y'all getting uh, ambitious, Southwest. Yeah. You know I mean? mean, like, okay. But any, anywho, uh, my question is. Who lives near the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park? (laughs) The National Park of Volcanoes in Hawaii. Who's like, who lives downwind of that? I I don't know. uh, The thing is, though, like, I don't know. Obviously, I've never lived in these places. I've only been in Hawaii once. Um, But my understanding was is that that's what made their soil dope. So I could Hmm. see, like, farmers being near there. Okay. All right. Huh. So then I guess you got to worry about what you can plant or grow if there's if you turn on the weather, the local news weather. And they're like, there's a a chance of, you know, stray ash. (laughs) There's there's traces of ash in the air today. Um, But, you know, devils. Yeah. Just just glass, just lava strands in the air. But I mean, also, what am I breathing in New York? (laughs) <laughs> that's fair that's fair <laughs> you know at least whatever they got is from the earth uh it's angry but it's from the earth i mean here every time i wash my hands i rinse off gray and i don't know where it came from and i may not have touched anything but it's always gray when i wash my hands so what is that <laughs> so there's definitely no shade hawaii because i mean i'm just living in a pile of concrete so i get it oh man i i i've told you i've had the i have dreams of the two smoothies i drank while i was in hawaii <laughs> um that shit was incredible if that's what happens with ash and uh lava landing on the soil that you plant the stuff in keep it going um that <laughs> shit was incredible i watched this lady put two fruits and ice and like honey mm. that was it I was waiting for like the sugar or the, she ain't put nothing else, but three ingredients. And when I, I asked, I was like, what's in it? I was like, you saw it, baby. That's what she said to me. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, blown away that that was the whole recipe. And that shit tasted incredible. Um, and this was like, uh, fully like pre-diabetic me. Like I'm holding this up against ice cream sandwiches. Like, I don't <laughs> care what you give me. That shit was the best sweet thing I've had in my life. Oh and wow! And it was just two ingredients and ice. And that's she like, great. and she that's how cocky she was about it. She knew that shit slapped. <laughs> she like, yep, you saw the whole thing, son. <laughs> so yeah, keep that ash and 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 lava pumping. You know what I mean? I guess uh, just. Be careful because it really does feel like we're kind of at the end of the earth. So <laughs> when I hear about things deciding to erupt for the first time in like 40 years, it's like <laughs> all of it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like 
let's just keep an eye on all of our volcano national parks. I that's guess fair. that's fair. That's fair. You know, like we'll check uh, yeah, any of the or any of the famous volcanoes. Are there other famous vol- like Mount St. Helen up in where is that? Like Seattle or somewhere in the Pacific Northwest? That's the one I remember from the eighties. Yeah, when Mount St. Hel. What's she doing? How's St. Helen doing? <laughs> <laughs> How's she doing? <laughs> Yeah, let's Whoever, check in on. Yeah, any of our our uh, Pacific Northwest uh, people, and I know we've got a few. Word up. Let us know how Mount St. Helens doing. You know, <laughs> this is, maybe I don't, don't know. check in personally uh, yeah. if you know somebody. <laughs> yeah, don't don't climb it. <laughs> uh, in other news, uh, Florida woman is suing Kraft, claiming Velveeta macaroni preparation time is misleading. Shot. That's right. Florida woman is accusing. Kraft Heinz of misleading advertisement based on the time it takes to prepare a single serving cup of microwavable mac and cheese. While the company markets Velveeta cheese and uh, shells as uh, being ready in three and a half minutes, Amanda Ramirez, damn, it had to be my people's. Uh, this is, uh, <laughs> says that's only the amount of time each cup needs to be microwaved and that the actual preparation process from stirring in the water and letting the cheese so a stick and takes longer. She does not specific, uh, specify how much. A 15-page class action lawsuit filed earlier this month alleges that the parent company, Kraft Heinz, sells more of the product and at a higher price than it would if it didn't mislead customers uh, about the pasta's prep time. Uh, as a result of the false and misleading rep- uh, representations, the product is sold at a premium price, approximately no less than $10.99 for an 8-ounce 2.39 ounce cups for eight 2.39 ounce cups. I hope that was clear. Uh, excluding taxes and sales. Uh, higher than similar products represented in the non-misleading way and higher than it would be sold for absent the misleading representations and omissions. Uh, Ramirez's legal team says that she is like many uh, consumers who seek to stretch their money as far as possible when buying groceries and chose Velveeta over other similar products because of the prep time prominently promised on its label she wouldn't have bought it had she known the truth huh okay so the kind of person who gets upset at this is precisely the kind of person who is microwaving mac and cheese by (laughs) themselves you you get in you get back what you put out there lady word so if you're the kind of person that is like well, actually, the three and a half minutes is the microwave time, but it doesn't count my labor and pain <laughs> and suffering. Um, uh, I I wonder what the young you were, what you were like as a young person playing games with friends. Did you have friends? What happened here? <laughs> why Why is this your, wh- why did you decide to, call in the calvary for this for this also what if you instead saved your money got a stronger microwave because it also depends on the the how strong your microwave is then you wouldn't have to cook it for so long and then you could use the rest of that three and a half minutes to stir and then stare off into space (laughs) <laughs> and wonder what went wrong. You'd have the time. Jeez. I uh by the way, I do want to point out uh the uh uh uh, uh Sheehan files uh the uh the lawyer, um mm-hmm. Spencer Sheehan, he's a New York based plaintiff attorney. Um he files uh prolifically. Um uh he is known to file uh uh, uh lawsuits against uh food companies uh at a prolific rate, roughly three times per week. Right. Sure. Um, yeah. And he has, uh, he's filed over a hundred suits <laughs> alleging various different products from soda, soy milk, market vanilla products that are actually synthetic are all having different issues that uh, are misleading. Uh, some of them are Frito-Lay not using enough real lime juice in its hint of lime Tostito chips. Um, that one is still pending. Um, the uh, Kellogg uh, misrepresenting the amount of fruit in its uh, strawberry pop tarts, which was dismissed by a federal judge earlier this year, um, and uh, many of uh, 
these cases have been settled or dis or voluntarily dismissed, uh, which tends to mean that you know he got some money. Okay. So he's found oh, a yeah. business model. Yeah, he says this lawyer says, um, I guess I've always been the type who would become annoyed and never liked it when companies cheated people for small amounts, it would be difficult to recoup. Mm. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What is this? What is this? What what's missing? What's the big thing that's missing? How do we fill this void? Can we fill this void with a big thing? Like, is this uh, is therapy possible? Like, what? Why? <laughs> of all the and this is your little thing because there's no way this woman could have done this without finding a lawyer who enjoyed doing this kind of thing. Is it paperwork? Do you just like to do paperwork? <laughs> or do you just like being, I mean, were you the person that when the bell rang, you were like, but wait, you didn't give us homework. Like, mm -hmm. were you that kid? Like what, what is happening? Why are you this way? <laughs> because it can't just, I mean, it's not, this goes beyond like a mother's love. This is something else <laughs> that you're lacking. And I'm wondering what can we do? you know, what can we do to fix it? No. Is it that you want more strawberry in the strawberry pop tart? <laughs> do you? Because then they won't last as long. So then, you know what I mean? Because now you've taken out some preservative to put in more fruit, but guess what? Now they're going to go bad faster because you fucked up the alchemy. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked it up. We're supposed to be sending this to people in, 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 in places of trouble where they can't eat anything else. They at least can nibble on a pop tart for like three years. Oh yeah. People just now they don't, now they only got like two months. Maybe <laughs> there's, there's hostages out there living off yeah. of pop tarts in a basement. Okay. Yeah. There's you're throwing signs all that off. to this. You're, there's signs to this. Cause you want more fruit and things. Have yeah, you had the more fruit versions of things? I remember when minute made, came out with their own orange soda and it had 10% more juice than the other ones, which is to say it had 10% juice. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I remember trying it and that stuff was swill. It was trash. <laughs> it was the worst orange soda I've ever had. And I was like, I will never forsake you Fanta. I don't even know if you've been stored next to an orange. I don't care. <laughs> No orange is that orange. Of a, yeah, of yeah, that. yeah. It was a it was a faint orange color. I was like, mm -mm, nope, this isn't what I signed up for. This is not what I want. This is light skin orange away from me. Yeah, okay. yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> Cut it out, man. Oh, you people. I mean, like there are ways. Look, I'm. I just read about an old dude uh, who's like the pioneer in. Um, oh, is it called shrinkonomics? I forget what it's called, but it's basically about. Uh, how all of the food packaging is getting small. They're giving us less and charging us more. Yeah. Right. And that's something that you notice if you really pay attention. I think now everyone's really noticing it because things are so expensive in grocery stores. But if you're like um, me or you were like my dad, who really was on top of this shit years ago, um, <laughs> you have noticed that kind of stuff. So I understand noticing that kind of thing and blah, 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 blah. My dad didn't sue nobody. <laughs> you just accept it like that's you the just new business. like all right well now we gotta find this one or we just gotta or we don't get this or we try to get it cheaper somewhere like you just do a different thing yeah but you know what what's up so what now what are you gonna do are you not gonna eat all this macaroni and cheese cups that you got in your cabinet because you <laughs> no, it takes too long really it takes too long do you know exactly when you're gonna die so you have to use every minute that's the only reason i can think of as to why you're you're sweating <laughs> the extra 45 seconds it takes. Uh, she really out here counting out the, her stirs. Yeah, right? Come on. <laughs> I The only time I started counting my stirs was in COVID tests. When you got to <laughs> swish the thing around in there. Otherwise, I don't care. <laughs> uh, with that said, I've had some of this, so uh, I'd love to be added to this lawsuit. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let me know. Be <laughs> I wasn't complaining, but you know, what I mean, I, I wouldn't mind those uh, twelve minutes back uh, or the two dollars. Wait, I thought I, it was it's Velveeta? Velveeta. So are you? It, so it's a powdered cheese for that one? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. See, I only made Velveeta shells and cheese when it was like you got a packet of cheese. <laughs> okay, cheese, okay. Cheese, and you made it in the pot, and then you'd squeeze the cheese into it because then the Kraft mac and cheese, you know, it was a powder, and you had to add, I don't know, water, milk, and egg, some shit. And I was like, I don't have time for that. Melt the cheese for me. Give Hell me yeah. That. And so I did it that way in the pot, but I didn't really grow up with a microwave, so I don't automatically turn to a microwave to cook things. Yeah, why don't you just learn how to make your own macaroni and cheese? Come on now. I bet that's cheaper than buying these little fucking packs. That's real. I agree. Cheaper, better Mac. Uh, we only used the mac and cheese because it was the easiest way to teach kids. Oh, that that's makes sense. That's why I did it here. Okay. But yeah. This is a grown yeah, woman. But if you're so a grown woman, you really should go you ahead should and make, make mac your own and cheese. Mac and cheese. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, it's, it's in the, you don't have to make a root. Don't do anything fancy, bitch. All you want is macaroni and some cheese on it. You can, you can finagle that. Yeah. For I a lot cheaper. You wasting everybody's time. Mm -hmm. Cut it out. Done deal. <laughs> <laughs> there, we fixed it. We fixed it. <laughs> no lawsuit needed. Uh, yep. <laughs> in other news, uh, Frontier Airlines drops its customer service line. That's right. It's what now? <laughs> it had a what now? <laughs> <laughs> How did they notice that? <laughs> well, they just sent that one guy home. How did anyone know? <laughs> Come on now. Shout over here checking the date. Like, how old is this article? <laughs> Kid All dropped right. something they never had. Yeah, what are we about? <laughs> Frontier Airlines will no longer let customers call phone num the a phone number in order to speak with the live agent. They all speak speaking singular, Sha. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. while the budget airline is known for its cost cutting measures, most major airlines still operate customer service lines. Customers will instead have to rely on other ways to contact the airline. A chat box on its website, a live chat available 24-7, its social media channels, and even WhatsApp. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, Frontier is wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, did y'all just say WhatsApp, Munchie? Uh <laughs> Oh, that's what's up. I could talk to Frontier Airlines and my cousin on a farm in DR, <laughs> yo. That's what's up, baby. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, man. They both go laugh. Ha, ha, was it? Ha, ha, ha. The, the ja, ja, ja way. <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> they confirmed the news on NPR. You can contact them there, too, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Anywhere free, we on it. Let's do it. Right. <laughs> uh, at Frontier, we offer the lowest fares in the industry by operating our airline as efficiently as possible. Uh, the, <laughs> the call center was eliminated uh, last weekend, uh, the airline uh, told uh, Travel Nor. In July, uh, Frontier's attempt to merge with a fellow budget airline, uh, Spirit, failed. Uh, Spirit has said, settled the deal to merge with the budget airline competitor, JetBlue. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Stop. Whoa. How incestuous is this? Hold on. So Frontier, Frontier was trying to merge with Spirit? Yo. Frontier was trying to get with Spirit, which I guess it, it seems like to me that was Frontier like, because Frontier used to be like the worst. And then Spirit came along like, uh, hold this. And... <laughs> And and so Frontier was like, well, why don't you and me work together? And then Spirit was like, nah, I'm going to aim higher. I'm going to aim jet blue, which is wild. I had no idea Hell that Spirit, yeah. Spirit was just like, you're out of my pay. Like went above and beyond Frontier. And, <laughs> and now Frontier's feelings are hurt. And he's like, don't call me. Yo, straight <laughs> up. No phone calls, baby. No That's phone it. calls. So now we got to deal with a depressed ass airline. <laughs> How are we getting ghosted by an airline? This is <laughs> because, incredible. <laughs> because he, he's trying to, I don't think he's going to better himself, y'all. I don't think it's going to get better. He's like, he's turned, yeah, he's not answering no calls. That's uh uh. It. Uh uh. 
We and Spirit is just up here with Jet Blue. This is what I had no. Straight up, yo. Yeah, I know y'all wanted this uh, this tea right here, but it's coming out. That's you know I mean? amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I can't well, wait till 2023 when we start seeing Frontier planes with like abs on the bottom. It's going to be crazy, <laughs> yo. Work it out. Is that what's happening? <laughs> Frontier is just going to lock it, just stay inside for the winter time and just work on him. Hell yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah. He going to come back different. You know what I mean? I, I trimmed up a little, you know, had to cut out some extra fat. Now, I mean, Wait, this says in November, Frontier became one of six airlines fined $7.5 million for refusing to give customers refunds for canceled flights. Uh, I'm going to need to know the other five. <laughs> <laughs> Who are the other five airlines Straight that up, were yo. not giving back refunds? Oh, my God. How insane. Uh, All right, The let's... other airline subject uh, to this were Air India, uh, TAP Air Portugal. Air Mex Aero Mexico, oh. L Al, L Al, or oh, L E L A L, right? L yeah, L Al and uh, Avianca. Okay. <laughs> no, I never heard of none of these joints. I've heard of Air Aero Mexico. I've heard of them. Yo. Uh, Air India. That must be what is that? Like they had to pay one hundred and twenty-one point five million Yo. in required refund. Golly. Straight that up. Something? Straight that's up. insane. Them that's dudes, insane. They've been thugging us this whole time. Yeah. So that's what I mean. Like, that's what that's what Frontier was. Yo. That, so they were Front our version of this shit. Yeah. And Spirit was worse than that. And Spirit's just like, all right, I don't know how many of you are online, online. But there's been a meme, a joke, cartoon that has been going on for a few years. And it always comes up at the end of the year. And it's a drawing of a woman um, stepping out of the previous year and into the next year. And it has, like, whatever she's stepping out of from the previous year is always just a list of whatever her old bullshit was. And the next year is what she's stepping into. So it's like she's stepping out of the year of just, like, broken relationships and bad work and, and all this other stuff. And she's stepping into prosperity and true love <laughs> and all this. And people, of course, have taken it and they've changed what the things are she's stepping out of and into. And it's like it's a black Twitter staple, basically. Right. Um. So to me, this feels like spirit is stepping into, <laughs> is stepping out of Frontier and into Jet Blue. <laughs> and that's all. When I, when you, when I saw that part, that's all immediately what I pictured was spirit being this drawing of this woman stepping out of Frontier's shadow. Um, oh, man. Well done, spirit. You know what I mean? You dodged, the, you dodged the bullet there. Did you? Cause you're still the worst. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Just because we can call somebody and they can go, yeah, we're the worst. Doesn't mean you're good. <laughs> Doesn't mean you're better than Frontier. Frontier is just like, nah, you just ride with us or you don't. You in or not. <laughs> Yo, shout to Spirit realizing that the only way to not be at the bottom is to drag more people down with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, oh, now nah, we Yo. can't team up with y'all. Let's bring JetBlue down in this game. Yeah, I know. Well JetBlue were y'all all right. Do you? Yo. You know what I mean? Straight mm. up. You need, okay. you, need to look, you need to look for better partners, okay? I mean, I, we're talking about, like, does Spirit have um, monitors on the in the seats, <laughs> like, for you to watch in the planes? <laughs> do they? I don't know, because Southwest doesn't. So that's why I'm wondering. Because JetBlue does, but Southwest doesn't. And so everyone's always complained about, like, you know, Frontier and Spirit. And I'm like, does Spirit even have like a thing to watch? Or do they even have like, remember the old school when they, uh, the planes where they just had one big screen that they just pulled down? Like, like <laughs> just a big screen and then like a projector in the back. <laughs> and now we all have to watch, you know. We're watching the slideshow? What? <laughs> yeah. Whatever I hear the carousel in the background and shit. Yeah, whatever passenger in the back that's closest to the projector, when it goes bing, they have to <laughs> move it forward. Bing. Load your pictures. Load your pictures. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is in-air entertainment? Do they care? Do they, is it just so bumpy of a ride? They're like, that's your entertainment. That's it's it, like bing. a roller coaster or, or something. <laughs> you might die. That's what they Yeah. Oh, oh, man. My, First row oh, gets etch a sketch. You know what I mean? They just hand out like, "Hey, it's your personal TV. You go make what you want to see." 
Is that it? Is it just like they pass out coloring books, but everyone only gets two crayons <laughs> and you can't pick the colors? They're just like, that's it. You got to trade with your partner. Okay. Yeah, Work it that's out. it. Make friends. Because that's what Southwest, <laughs> I hate Southwest is like, talk to your person and find out if you're supposed to be ahead of them in line. And I'm like, you want us to fight, huh? You want us to fight before getting on this plane? <laughs> Yo. Oh my God, I love this. <laughs> uh, in other news, uh, the U.S. blocks sugar imports uh, from a top Dominican producer over forced labor uh, concerns. Uh, U.S. authorities will block imports of sugar produced in the Dominican Republic by company Central Romana in suspicion of forced labor at its facilities. Uh, U.S. Uh, Customs and Border Protection will detain the company's raw sugar and sugar-based products at all U.S. ports of entry, effective uh, last week's Wednesday, uh, the agency said in a statement, um, citing inhumane practices. Uh, Central Romana is the largest producer of sugar in the Dominican Republic. Uh, hmm. The decision to ban its sugar is based on information that uh, reasonably indicates the use of forced labor in its operations. Uh, CBP uh, identified five of the international labor organizations 11 indicators of forced labor during its investigation abuse of vulnerability isolation withholding wages abusive working and living conditions and excessive overtime oh shit you need yo. like six more yo that's for enough. real <laughs> <laughs> that's your top that's how you hitting them right there your top five is that <laughs> like God. yikes <laughs> You need 11 indicators. I feel like three out of those five is enough. <laughs> That's, yeah, you hit it right there, yo. Uh, yeah. The, the rationale behind this measure uh, does not reflect the policies and practices of Central uh, Romana. Um, it said, adding that the company has spent millions to improve the living and working conditions, guaranteeing living wages and increased benefits, and offering educational and training programs. Uh, the company, which started in 1912, also works in a number of different industries, including real estate, airport, and port operations, and uh, meat and dairy production, according to the company website. Hold on. Y'all <laughs> y'all make sugar, and you run an airport and real estate? Yo. Mm, none of this looks good for you right Straight now. Straight up. Real, real, mean, real monopoly energy right here. Yeah. yeah this is, this is, <laughs> I don't know about this. Yo. Oh, wow. Straight oh, that's... Up. So then where do we, where, where, where are we getting our sugar from? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I feel bad. As these are my peoples, but, uh, right. Yeah. We, we, uh, we fucking up. We gotta get this I right. Know. That's true. Uh, like I, hmm. You, you know what I mean? Like, are there, there are so many things that are certainly probably using forced labor. Yeah. That, uh, I, <laughs> if we really are going to, walk it like we talk it and actually like stop receiving things mm. oh boy like what who knows what will what else what else that will encompass you know yo but i i, I am happy with like them kind of taking a stance here uh like, yeah is, i know that's honestly i'm a little surprised that the u.s is doing this yeah it, it, that's not really their way so, <laughs> no. like, we're, all the pain and suffering is over there so we don't got to do it oh, yeah do it, yeah okay great that's fine we still get sugar yeah. right so uh, <laughs> right yeah that's that's a little surprising yeah. we'll see how long that lasts but it's a little surprising that yeah, man. uh <laughs> america has decided to do this straight up i now this is one way to get the country in shape you know what i mean just uh stop bringing the sugar in you know what i mean let's do this let's all go green mm -hmm. uh i'm sure yeah, they make stevia in the lab here you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, they probably do. <laughs> they probably do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, people love that stevia stuff. Yeah. I can only go by uh what packets move at in the break room of my day job. Okay. But uh yeah, uh stevia I didn't know. Uh, it was a dark horse, uh, oh. but people are really hitting it hard. It should come um, out of nowhere. It did. I feel like everyone was very into sugar in the raw, which is how I say it yeah. every time I say it. Sugar in the raw. But uh, something happened, and now we're in a, in a stevia state of mind. Yeah. And I don't. I mean, okay, I guess. Yo, flip, yo. I grew up yeah. with uh, with equal and sweet and low, and then uh, yep. I saw this pivot. I was like, oh, this is different. You know what I mean? I yeah. think uh, uh, in the raw was was dope because like it gives you like the false sense of it still like uh, a na a natural thing because of the branding, right? You know what I mean? Like the logo looks like uh, a Williamsburg oh. thing. 
<laughs> well, it just it looks like a crate. I guess the crate of sugar it came in or something. I yeah. don't know, like a gunny sack. I'm not sure. But um, <laughs> I remember seeing my parents make that switch over to uh, sugar in the raw. And I was like, what is this? Because they had a history of like gravitating to the nuts and berry version of a thing. Like we yeah. had we had white sugar, but we also had brown sugar. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, is brown sugar better or is it just brown? Meaning that it, <laughs> it, it came from black sugar cane. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly what the thinking was there. But it wasn't just using baking in my house. Like they were like, just put a little brown sugar on it. And I'm like, this uh, brown sugar is highly susceptible to humidity. So it was just like a rock, a, a rock. <laughs> Just use the brown sugar. I'm like, get me a chisel. I can't just, <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> so they started using sugar in the raw. And I was like, oh, is this just like little pieces of sugar cane, I guess? <laughs> like a slice of it or something? But um, but then I started using it. I was like, oh, yeah, if you use enough of it, it gets sweet. And my dad's like, stop using so much. <laughs> What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> uh, after our uh, Pacific Northwest uh, listeners are done checking in on that volcano, checking on Chalet was uh, drinks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just make sure. <laughs> yeah, just, just check on just check on us in general, basically. <laughs> uh, finally, a uh, University of Florida revokes a football scholarship. At the video services of a recruit using a racial slur, uh, University of Florida has withdrawn a scholarship offer uh, for uh, Nice or ne yeah, I think Nice High School quarterback Marcus Stokes. At the video of him rapping along to a song using a racial slur surfaced on social media. Uh, Stokes took to social media to apologize on Sunday, saying that he accepts the consequences of his actions. I deeply apologize for the words and the song that I chose to say. Uh, it was hurtful and offensive to many people, and I regret that. I fully accept the consequences uh, for my actions, and I respect the University of Florida's decision to withdraw my scholarship offer to play football. Uh, according to Sports Illustrated in the since-deleted video, uh, Stokes was seen in a car saying, welcome back, followed by the racial slur. Uh, shouts to CBS News for wording it that way. Uh, my intention was never to hurt anybody, and I recognize that even when uh, going along with the song, my words still carry a lot of weight, uh, Stokes wrote. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm just going to toss in here. Uh, Marcus Stokes mm -hmm. is white. Yes. <laughs> it never said that in the piece, <laughs> and and the kid's name is Marcus Stokes, which we, we got it. We got to admit that is one of the blacker sounding names, Stokes. <laughs> Is one of the blacker sounding names. I mean, Marcus, you could take or leave, but it is spelled M-A-R-C-U-S. So yeah. that's the traditional black. It's not with a K, which makes you think, what are they, German or something? No, it's. <laughs> but Stokes is like one of those. It's a it's an album cut of blackness. I don't know how to explain Yo. this to you, but it's not it's not one of our big black hits. But it's an album cut. Yo, you know? straight up, <laughs> dude. You in, you in if you know that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you've been around a few. A Stokes? Yo. That's a, yeah. So like, like, that's why I was like, I mean, what's wrong with Marcus Stokes saying it? And then I was yeah. like, maybe I should look up what Marcus Stokes looks like. Yo, and fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> when this comes out, uh, your instinct was correct. Uh, mm. This name, uh, is uh, actually a deep cut uh, Black Fresh Prince reference because uh, there is an uh, episode that uh, if you watch Fresh Prince, uh, famously uh, Will Smith's character plays basketball on uh, the Bel Air team and mm -hmm. he dominates it. Then one of the next times that they bring up basketball, he plays an equally talented kid from the uh, Black part of L.A. that okay. doesn't have all the perks of being in Bel Air and reminds right. Will of uh, growing up in Philly. That right. character's name was Marcus Stokes. Wow, you know wow. I mean? So, like, people were, like, <laughs> screenshotting that guy, like, this is the only Marcus Stokes I'll fuck with. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 
which is awesome. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, and uh, just in general, I'm uh, I'm always cool with it. Uh, I uh, I forget the dude's name right now, which I'm blanking. But whenever I see him, I, I always enjoy his work. Uh, That's he, so funny. Yeah, but yeah, go figure. Uh, but yeah, I uh, Alan Payne, by the way, I don't know if you know uh, that actor. Oh, that's who the actor. Yeah, yeah, of course. He probably looks exactly the same. Alan Payne. If y'all know who Alan Payne is, he has made a deal with a <laughs> devil or a vampire or something. That motherfucker looks exactly the same. Yo, exactly the same Alan from Payne. like ninety four to now. Straight up, I do exactly the same. I don't know, you know. I, I understand black don't crack, but it got to crumble a little bit. Oh, for I, th- I still think he got that crossover from the sh- from the show. <laughs> oh, man, it was nasty on the court. <laughs> oh my goodness! But yeah, this uh, I loved all. Of, I, I gotta say, uh, I was impressed with Florida for instantly making this call. Um, right. I was uh, while I obviously I I know this is a a PR prep generic response. I mm-hmm. have to say, I'm impressed with the quickness of it. Like him, like yeah, I fucked up. Uh, owning it fully um, shouldn't have happened. You're, 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 you've seen enough of this already to know you shouldn't be doing this in the first place. Right, right, right. Um, but I, I, I give him credit. He's a high school senior who owned the mistake very quickly. Um, appreciated that Florida gave him the offer and understood why they were taking it away. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, I, I'm sure he's doing this because someone told him if you do this there's a chance that another school will give you another offer. Absolutely. Which if is, not an offer, like, you can just go ahead and roll in another school. Yeah. That, you know, just like, look, you also happen to, <laughs> wouldn't it be funny? It's just like, well, University of Florida took away the thing, and I, I, I'm I, sorry, and I, I understand why, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I just went to the next school, uh, University <laughs> of Alabama. So I'm just going to spend my freshman year just being uh, uh, at the, you know, roll tied in or whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> and and then well, you look at that. I'm good enough to play football for him. Huh? That's How it. about that? Go That's figure. wild. Look at that. Marcus <laughs> Stokes. <laughs> I still I can't get. Past. I mean, Stokes is such a Yo, oh, man. Straight up, I'm that's with it. A, yeah, that's very wow. <laughs> well, if you would like, uh oh, for Alan Payne to get more acting opportunities. Actually, yes, yeah. You know what I mean, he's a good dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, all you gotta do is like, subscribe to the show, baby. If you are an Apple, or Spotify listener, we appreciate your ratings. Four stars. You think he should be limited to side character roles? That's a shame, Alan Payne. Could have been a star. Still has time to be a star. And plus, I mean, he was a ridiculously talented basketball player for an yeah. actor. Yeah. Uh, what he what, what? Well, no, I guess five stars means that you, uh, you you saw Dead Presidents, right? Mm, yeah. Uh, was he the Jason and Jason's lyric? <laughs> that, was, that was him, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> it was Yo, this is Jason deep, Lurk. deep cuts today. Okay. Yo, I know this is a lot. This is a lot of blackness we're throwing at you right now. <laughs> Y'all wasn't ready. I'm sorry, but it happens sometimes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um. So you, you, you've seen the potential. He was and you're, there. You're willing to go ahead and and give him his own streaming uh show. Straight up, he is also uh, uh, uh he also played a character that uh led to me having <laughs> the same nickname everywhere I went when people couldn't remember my name. He uh, famously played G Money in uh, New Jack City. Oh, my goodness. You know? How could I forget that? Yes, indeed. So uh, every time someone <laughs> couldn't remember Gas Store, I became G Money. Um, and uh, I could never live up to Alan Payne's acting uh, in that role uh, to live up to that name. But, yeah, he did good work. You know what I mean? Hire this oh, man, okay? Yeah, hire him. Hire Absolutely. Him. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> also, Alan Payne, if you're listening... Drop the skincare routine. What you doing, bro? Yo, for real, B. <laughs> How you doing this? <laughs> it's not right. You can't be keeping what's, any secrets, my G. What's happening? Yeah, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> you have been the love interest of college students for three decades, yeah, my G. Yeah, come on, bro. What's going on? <laughs> I don't have crow's feet, but they circling. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> if you have any articles you want us to cover, please DM us directly on Twitter or Instagram. At Silky Jumbo or at Gastro Monte. Shout outs to uh, Bishop, Lori McDaniel, and uh, Jenny Dar for sharing articles this week. Uh, with all that said, I am the uh, the far less talented acting Gastro <laughs> Monte. Uh, with the equally great uh, and young looking Shalewa Sharp to Alan uh-huh. Payne. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Once you get these Alan Payne secrets, game over. All right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> this has been uh, excited for uh, Alan Payne's future episode. <laughs> 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 Catch y'all next time. Peace. What's the